Assalamu alaikum and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I am uh, going to uh, tell you how to uh, work on the chart of account. Chart of account is very important when you are going to uh, set up your company. Uh, after set up your company then the next step is setting the chart of account. On the basis of chart of account then you can uh, proceed further for the like recording of transaction and everything. And even you can see the uh, financial statement on the basis of chart of account. So, uh, the chart of account we have to go uh, we have to go to the setting and then uh, we will go to the chart of account here and this is the uh, setting area where we have to set chart of account as per our requirement. Okay. So first you can see here the sum of item is already there whenever you set up a company so you can see this item uh, built in uh, automatically in the system uh, so you have to check as per your requirement then you have to uh, modify or you can uh, add some of the new uh, new account in as per your requirement so first we will add here new total because there is no gross profit or um, uh, the other like some of the other total is not there so I have to be mentioned there gross profit so this one is third so this one is first new group we will add here direct expenses this one we will put here as a second expenses uh, okay, we will put here uh, expense here see here there is a direct expense uh, this one we will add here as indirect expense and we will keep as 4 so now you can see here 1, 2 and 3 uh, after income whatever the expense direct expense will come and then uh, after deduction of data, direct expense we will see the total for the gross profit and then from the gross profit we can deduct indirect expenses and then we will get the net profit so net total we will bring here as net profit This one we will put here um, five. I think there is a five. five. Okay. So net profit or we can put here loss also. Sometime might be there is an initial year there we will find the loss so then at least it will come here. So now I will tell you for example this is the total thing and now you have to add so there's some of the expense are here so let me check which expense we can add here telephone expenses there rent and uh, you can add it for example I will go and I will show you edit how to add it you have to mention office expense indirect expenses yeah so for example here we have to add some uh, direct expenses so if if these are the uh, for example any real estate company so we can mention as agent commission okay so we will go there and we can add here agent commission 
can select here direct expense and we'll create so you can see that this direct ex under direct expense we can find agent commission so when we for example we receive any uh, commission so you can uh, we can mention like that so here we can mention here as per construction uh, real estate firm we put here as a commission from sales Commission from from rent. Income. So you can see here commission from rent government to sale agent commission. So <coughs> this is the way you can edit here can see here all I show you how to edit how to add new and uh, for example how to add the total also so now we will go to the bank we have to set the bank because we have to go to the other part of uh, like balance sheet this is the profit and loss uh, like statement we already set it so how to add the bank we will go here and then we can add for example uh, you can mention here Commercial Bank of Dubai currency is already set there. So now we will add here. So you can see here we can put the starting balance also, and then we can see the transaction pending deposit withdrawal. And uh, this is the way it will work. Okay. And then we can add here our cash account. Cash account we can mention like for example petty cash for office. So we can put here petty cash for example Ali. So we create here. So this is petty cash Ali account. When you go here, so you can see the transaction from here receive payment. We can do the entry. So this is a way you have to uh, fix this. Uh, like further you can fix the setting basic setting so now you can see here like uh, some of the item is already came here see this is income then direct expenses less then gross profit then uh, after gross profit you have less indirect expenses then you can find the profit and loss account and then uh, on the other side balance sheet assets less liabilities and then equity so this is the other part so you can here you can edit also here for example if you want uh, to edit uh, or you can if you want to add for example uh, any account in the balance sheet side so you can add here i will show you how to add here for example uh, you have to here advances or you can put like security deposit which you paid against any uh, any property anything for example you paid any security deposit for any services so you can put here assets so it will be like this way it will come here now if you want to add anything in liability so you can add here anything in liability for example uh, we are going to add uh, accrued expenses, so liabilities, like that. Okay. We can make further group also. For example, in liabilities, we can uh, separate into two: uh, current liability and long-term liability. The same like assets, current asset and fixed assets. So we can go for the same new group and then we can add here, uh, for example, now long term assets and we can make as a group, you can see here long term assets. So now I, whenever I'm going to add anything, so I can put this one in the, under the uh, long term assets. So
or you can you can choose another name it's up to you for example I can put here fixed assets it's up to you which name you're using for example now I will put here current assets now you can see here it coming like that now these all bank and everything I will bring under the current now you can see here these will come under the current assets this one also for example for short term so I will put under the current assets so you can see this one current asset we have three account now we can edit the same like that in the fixed asset also and we can include any fixed asset uh, like uh, any other like different assets we can fix uh, under the bring under the fixed assets uh, tab so same thing you can follow in the liability side and same uh, equity for example now you have to add something for inequity so you have to go here capital in capital account you can add here for example Ali equity you can add here also liquidity come like that when you come here so you can see that capital account yeah Ali equity so whatever the transition will you will do you, you, you can see here so this is the like this is the way you have to manage the uh, setup of startup account and uh, other few accounts which is help, helpful for you uh, when you will do the uh, transaction on the rest of the years so further whenever you need any other account so you can add uh, accordingly um, later uh, like in, a, in the year so thank you for watching my video um, if you like my video please uh, share uh, this video with your friends and uh, subscribe my channel also and uh, if you press the bell icon so you will see the further notification of my new videos so thank you for your watching